60 years ago yesterday, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave the first ever public delivery of the I Have a Dream speech. It happened at a gym in Booker T. Washington High School in Rocky Mount. WRO's Keenan Willard shows us how the city is honoring that anniversary today. It was in this high school gym in Rocky Mount that Dr. King spoke some of the most iconic words in American history for the very first time. Now, some people who were in the audience that day say it inspired a change in this community that still echoes today. So my friends of Rocky Mount, I have a dream tonight. It is a dream rooted deeply in the American dream. And so the words that would inspire a nation at the height of the civil rights movement were born. Nine months before Dr. King marched on Washington, D.C., he was invited by a Rocky Mount pastor to speak at the Booker T. Washington High School gym. It was November 27th, 1962. It is recorded in history that Rocky Mount now is now the site of a historical moment in our nation's history. Today, the city of Rocky Mount held a celebration on the anniversary of King's words, playing the speech over the loudspeakers in the same room where it was first delivered. Among those speaking, people who were in the audience that night. Herbert Tillman was a 17-year-old high school senior at the time. He says King's speech was a lightning rod for a community struggling under the yoke of segregation. We were actually really going through something and we needed somebody to give us a spark, a spark to help us up, to make us feel that there was hope right here in Rocky Mount. Joyce Dickens was just 15 when she heard those words. They inspired her to pursue a lifetime of her own activism, spending the past 60 years fighting for racial equality and fair housing access in Rocky Mount. I have a dream. I have a dream. I'm 75 years old. I've been working since I was 15, and I still have the same dream. After the ceremony, the city unveiled a towering banner to commemorate the speech. The man who discovered the only recording of it, Dr. Jason Miller, says it's a fitting tribute for the place where an era-defining movement came to life. It is startling to think that of all the speeches in the world, Dr. King's speech isn't just the most recognizable one in American history, it's actually the most recognizable speech in world history. This banner reminds everyone that Rocky Mount, North Carolina is the birthplace of Dr. King's dream. Keenan Willard, WRL News. Rocky Mount. Unbelievable. Of course, the speech that most of us are familiar with, the one that made history, was delivered in front of millions of people on the Mall in Washington less than a year later, on August 28, 1963.